Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the Lego Ninjago Sons of Garmadon headquarters, set number 70640. Um, this is how far we made it in part one. If you missed part one, check out the link I have down below. Uh, we're not gonna go too much into what we built already, because we have two more bags of parts to go. So we're on to our third bag of four. So we four total in this set. So dump all that out. That's our bigger pieces. And then we have two small bags. One and two. Okay. So begin with two more minifigures. Well, looks like three more minifigures. Let me get all of the parts together. Make sure I get the right pants and torso head combination. All right. Looks like our first one is going to be Zane. Like Biker Zane. He has some shoulder armor. A little mask piece. Where's it at? All these small parts, and I can't find the one I'm looking for. There it is. It's so small, it's hiding under something. Find the right head. There it is. that up a bit there's so much going on from the shoulders up that it's a little tricky and there's his flat top haircut and he's got two ninja swords that will can be held back here in his little backpack piece that's attached to the shoulder armor so there we go crazy little outfit he's wearing with the all of the uh, chains and zippers and metal stuff printed on there. So, pretty cool figure. Next up, let's see, these two torsos look very similar, if not identical. And they are identical. So, we have two more leg pieces. One's a shorter one. One's a taller one. So the torsos are the same, but the legs are different. And we're going to put some shoulder armor on this bigger one. He kind of has a scruffy, angry face, along with a motorcycle helmet and a windscreen part that I just put on upside down. Around. There we go. He has a red ninja sword. So the red ninja swords are new for this year. It's pretty cool getting a different color of them. The ninja swords are one of the weapons that I probably have the most, if not the weapon that I have the most in all of my spare parts bins. Because every set always comes with extras. So even if you just counted the sets that just had one, then you add all the extras, it's doubling up on everything. So a bunch of ninja swords, but not many red ones. So like I said, pretty cool. So here we have the red uh, Mr. T hair. So this little mohawk piece was first introduced with the Lego Dimensions Mr. T minifigure. And we're starting to see it in other minifigures in various other Lego themes. This one happens to be red. So that is our final minifigure. Looks like, yes, looks like we're done with all the minifigures now. 
Very good. So let's continue building on this headquarters. Start with this plate, a plate, a wedge plate. Double wide cheese slope and another plate. One, two, three brackets. Another wedge plate here. Do a tile. Brick, brick, corner brick. Regular brick here. on the table help it to stay sturdy as I build it hopefully I won't break it if you watched part one you may have seen a a feat of strength when I pushed too hard on the model and it went crumbling underneath me I'll try to avoid that on this model or this portion of the video um, where's my slope Look for a gray slope Hiding under a tire. Have a single red clip right there, and then a tan jumper tile. All right, Technic brick, another Palisade brick. Two of these baby bow shapes there and there a white coffee mug and a kind of pearlescent silver um, spanner or wrench whatever you want to call it So this little detail of this little tube bar with the little clip is <clears throat> almost a standard Lego um, Ninjago detail. You see that in a ton of Lego Ninjago sets. It's not a bad detail anyway. Something I really need to incorporate in some of my own builds. But I always tend to forget about it for some reason. This is pretty cool. We made a little lamp, like an overhead lamp piece. All right, so with this all completed, you can see we have a couple of Technic axle bricks there. That lines up perfectly with those axles sticking out and it connects to the side. So the headquarters is kind of like a little modular build where we're gonna connect each little piece to the main center core as we go. So this is the beginnings of the next part. So you can see some similarities. We've got our bracket pieces. brick spans over that opening for some reason. We'll just 
just go with it for now. See where it takes us. these plates with the clip on the top. I'm gonna put two studs on. We're gonna repeat that. Same detail here. large panel. It's going to get a really big sticker on the inside inset face of the panel. These sometimes can be tricky to center the best, but over the years I've kind of figured out where they cut that sticker and I know kind of where it needs to be centered on. So that's pretty close right there. And we have this smaller panel to it with a plate. And we have two of our standard Lego Ninjago detail column pieces. Two of these two by two wedge plates. A couple of the curved slopes. six by six tile basically a little light it's right there on top of it and then this gets a really large sticker and just like the the panel this large sticker sometimes can be a little tricky it's cut a lot closer to the edge than the panel one is so you have to line it up pretty much closer to the edge, but that's pretty good if you ask me. If you don't ask me, I'll still tell you it's pretty good. That goes there, fold it up, fold that down. Make a little billboard type banner piece. some Technic connectors, non-friction pin, and this piece will go right here. Next is this wheel and tire, it's a motorcycle wheel and tire with a three long friction pin, pin bushing, this thing. And we have two Thor hammers slide in the side. And you can kind of see they kind of dangle a little bit. How is that supposed to go on there? Oh, I used the wrong piece. Take that off. So this piece is essentially the same part. One is just longer than the other. And I accidentally used the shorter one. I needed the longer one. So we'll put that longer one on there. Put that on there. And you can see it spin it and it's like a, uh, like a little ninja obstacle course type piece. That when spun, it has those hammers that are spinning around. We move this to the side, bring our headquarters piece back over. Just like we did the other one, we've got those little axle holes that line up perfectly. Go right there. Of course, there's an easier way to spin this, but you kind of just have to use your hand. Spin it. All right, so that completes our third bag of parts. So here's our two extra ninja swords like I was explaining we get a bunch of those so let's move on to our fourth final bag of parts right now 
Okay, we have everything for bag four out, ready to go. Let's jump right into it. I almost want to say that this has the most parts of all the bags. Or maybe it has the largest parts of it. It feels like there's a lot of parts in here. But we'll just go with it. Doesn't matter if it's one bag of parts or 10 bag of parts. I'm just gonna build the model no matter what. Honestly, the, the parts split up into multiple bags is really meant to help out some of the younger builders that may or may not be able to find a certain part amongst say 800 parts dumped on the table versus only about 150 in one one bag i know when i was visiting my nephew about a month ago i brought him a lego set and it had multiple numbered bags and he dumped them all out and uh, built the model completely fine with all of the the bags dumped out. He didn't need the the help of splitting it up into different numbers. So it was interesting seeing a, a slightly different take, especially from a, a younger builder. It's almost like he wanted the challenge. Right, so building a play feature of some sort. Have this larger motorcycle wheel and tire. Which is gonna slide down on this axle. Kinda spins a little bit. This piece, this piece, and two black jumper tiles. One and two. This will slide on top of that axle. I don't want to push it down too hard. I want to make sure that that wheel and tire can still spin. And this will go right here. So the spinning tire on this little um, axle piece. All right, so put that on. Connect another couple pieces. here and that allows us to move it with those bevel gears that are interlocked. That's pretty cool. So I'll leave it sitting like this for now. Let's get some more parts put on it before we play with it too much. Masonry profile brick. Brick with studs on the side. Put a grill tile and a little cheese slope. Tile there, and now we have this black piece clipped there. Slope 
brick, a jumper tile, another sloped brick. Right up a brick here. Brick with a clip. Sloped brick. And where are we at? Two cheese slopes. Try to get those as straight as possible. Doesn't really matter, I guess. All right, looks good. Next we have just a red column piece and then a tall brick. We have a frame with some jail bars on it. These are the fixed bars, it's not a, a door that opens. That will go there. Next is something else. I'm gonna move some of these pieces. Find what I'm looking for. with the bar it's gonna get our next sticker sticker number 11 so that goes there this goes here turn it up there okay so that looks like a um, looks like an entrance to a subway Up is a bracket with a red brick on it. Double wide cheese slope. Grill tile. We have a gray window panel. This is going to get a sticker. This red window frame. Go right there. Bracket, a slope, and a tile. Um, white tile. This gets the next sticker. sticker. We're almost done with our stickers. And we're almost done with the model. So, good timing. That's this piece. It's like it simply just pops in right there. Yeah, the worst thing is uh, when you finish a model and um, you still have stickers left on the sticker sheet. Kind of a, uh, a sign that you probably forgot to put a sticker on. It's been, there's only like one or two models that I've ever seen that gave you various stickers. If you didn't use them all, you had the option of putting one sticker on over the other. <laughs> and one good example of that is the Volkswagen Beetle. A creator expert set. It had um, a couple different options of um, license plate stickers. So you could choose which one you wanted on there. And whichever ones you didn't choose, they didn't give you extra parts for it. You just had extra stickers. At least that's what I remember. I don't know. Maybe they'd get, they did give us extra parts. But I'm pretty sure it was just. Um, 
you chose one over the other. All right, so there's our, um, our next little portion. So this one, we're actually using these clips to connect to these little bar pieces. They're sticking out over there. So carefully slide it on there, there we go. So that's our next part of the headquarters. All right, so we're on to our last portion. It's gonna start off very similar. brown stud four of our brackets now we have a brick a slope another slope make another one of the little moving play features just like we did for the other side it simply goes there so this is the little hand crank turning piece Technic brick bushing axle connector. And that will go right there. Corner plate, regular brick, sloped piece. tile and the clip there. Got our brick with a clip and a masonry profile brick. So these details are pretty similar. It's almost like creating a tabletop of some sort. That piece there, this piece here. Now we have the last little portion. The motorcycle tire. I'll slide in there. We have this big red saw blade and guess what time it is it's last sticker time this blade will get a sticker right here in the middle kind of like a donut style sticker it has a hole cut out in the middle and we simply pop it on there you can see it turns pretty easily on that that technic um, non-friction pin Well, wait a minute. It's not supposed to be on the non-friction pin. The non-friction pin goes on here for some reason. That's our little play feature there of chopping it around. So just like the other side, we will 
clip this on to the side there. And that completes the build of the, the model. So I'm gonna move this back just a bit so we can kind of get a view of everything at once. There it go. Of course, it's gonna go out of focus. All right. So we have this piece that more or less can go in the middle and fight all of the other people. And this is probably my favorite part of this whole set. This motorcycle is definitely heavy metal. All right, so there you go. Appreciate you guys watching. Put a comment down below if you wanna see more uh, videos just like this one. Um, let me know what you wanna see. I do build videos all the time. I've got links down below if you wanna see more videos um, of other themes besides Ninjago. Um, I do Lego City, I do superheroes. Uh, Minecraft, Star Wars, Speed Champions, uh, Nexo Knights, a little bit of everything. So um, there's something there for everyone, so check it all out, and we'll see you in the future.